I am going to demonstrate HCG. HCG is prescribed by your physician for the final preparation of the egg and ovulation. Your medication may be called Pregnil, Novarel, or human chorionic gonadotropin, HCG, whichever one your pharmacy dispenses. They are all mixed the same way. To prepare for your injection, you're gonna to wanna to wash and dry your hands and prepare a clean, dry site. You will have your box of medication, a three mil syringe with a mixing needle, an injecting needle, alcohol swabs, and your biohazard kit. In your box of medication is gonna be a vial of liquid and a vial of powder, which is the medication. I am demonstrating Pregnil, but as I said, your medication may be Novarel or HCG. For the 10,000 unit dose of Pregnil or HCG, I will show you how to mix that. So you will take your vial of liquid, pop the blue cap off, your vial of powder, you'll want to swab the rubber stoppers with an alcohol swab. You will take your syringe with the mixing needle. If the mixing needle is not on the syringe, you can screw it on easily. Pull the cap off the needle, and you're gonna to wanna to pull one and one half mils of air into your syringe to add to the liquid. Take your liquid, push the needle in, and inject the air. Turn the vial over, making sure the tip of the needle is in the liquid and then pull down on the plunger until the top of the black stopper is at the one and one half mil mark. Turn the vial over, take your needle out, and inject one and one half mls of liquid in with the powder. You may have to twirl the vial to get the powder fully dissolved. Once it is dissolved, turn the vial over you will want to pull down on the needle to make sure it is in the U-shaped cutout of the rubber and then pull down on the plunger to pull everything back into your syringe. So it will be one and one half mLs, which is equivalent to 10,000 units of Pregnil. Once you have the medication pulled into the syringe, turn the vial over, recap your needle carefully, unscrew it and discard it and place your injecting needle on. It's still an inch and a half long to get to the muscle but it is much thinner than the mixing needle. Now you are ready for your injection. So once your medication is mixed and the injecting needle is on you will likely need someone other than yourself to administer the injection. The injection site is the upper outer buttock so you do not want to go in too far or down too far on the buttock. You want to stay in the upper outer quadrant. You will prepare the area with an alcohol swab. Let the alcohol dry. Carefully uncap your needle. You want to take the area that you've prepared and spread the tissue with your thumb and forefinger and then you're going to put the needle in with a quick dart-like motion. The needle does have to go all the way into the hub and once it's all the way inserted you will stabilize the syringe with your non-dominant hand and push on the plunger to inject the medication. Once the medication is fully injected you'll just pull straight out. You'll discard the used needle and syringe you can go ahead and gently massage the tissue um, to allow the medication to disperse out of the muscle to prevent tenderness.